I'm David Shinasa. I'm a hand surgeon in a multi-specialty orthopedic group in Weston, Florida. What first really attracted me to Segway was that it was a fast, precise way to do our endoscopic carpal tunnel release. And as I got proficient using the Segway system, I was introduced to the uh, disposable endoscopic carpal tunnel release which uses a plastic cannula and a disposable 2.3 millimeter scope. It's a very simple system. One tablet, one wire, you put it on a Mayo stand, and as far as instrumentation goes, everything you need is in that disposable kit. So you don't have to worry about sterilization of other trays, you don't have to worry about using or consumption of, of trays Let's say when you're in an outpatient surgery center and you have multiple surgeons operating on the same day. On the camera, you don't have to worry about focusing. It's auto focus. You can adjust the brightness. And one thing that I like is through one small button, you can take pictures uh, and then also take a live video. It, you can put that on a small zip drive and then also what I like to do is send the pictures or the video of the procedure and email them to my patient so they actually get to see and experience um, the procedure that, that uh, they just recently had. And it's just very user friendly, the whole process. And, and that's what makes it very uh, a no-brainer to use for me and, and my staff. So at, at first I was pretty apprehensive to see uh, how the visibility was, how the graphics were, and I was very surprised. Um, excellent visibility. Um, I still use Fred for the anti-fog uh, on the camera, so we just uh, put the Fred on the lens and uh, once I started using it, I noticed that I can adjust the angle at which I'm introducing my camera, whether it's raising my forearm or making it more level or parallel to the bed to allow me um, a better view of our uh, carpal tunnel and the structures that we need to see. So for me, uh, there's really no diminishing in, in our field of uh, view. The initial challenges of actually using the kit and the logistics of using the kit, kit intraoperatively uh, were actually very few to none. Uh, if you're comfortable doing an endoscopic carpal tunnel release system, there is really no adjustment to be made from going from the endoscopic to the endoscopic disposable. We use a probe that we place in the accessory port and the cannula. I use the probe to palpate the distal end of the transverse, can, uh, transverse carpal ligament so you can clearly see it there. On the other end of this instrument is a rasp. that we use to scrape the tenosynovium from the undersurface of the transverse carpal ligament. And you can see that it kind of creates a path, a clear path for our blade. We put the blade in under direct endoscopic visualization, make sure I hit the end of the transverse carpal ligament and in a retrograde fashion. And that's our release. You can see that our tourniquet time is two minutes, done completely under local anesthesia in this patient with sedation. I started using the disposable system first in the OR to get comfortable before I started, it, started using it in the office setting. And once I started using it in the OR, I actually started seeing benefits for the patient, uh, benefits for my staff, and definitely uh, a lot of ben benefits logistically for the outpatient surgery center and their staff. 
at our surgery center. They were a little apprehensive about the cost. Once they saw the decreased OR time, once they saw the decreased manpower needed, they realized that that in itself is a huge cost savings advantage, and especially in the hospital. So the way I approached it in our hospital system, where we were getting some feedback, is I actually had the head of nursing of the operating room come, and also along with the CEO, and I had them just say, hey guys, I just wanna show you the ease of this system so you can see what its advantages are. And after they saw that we did a endoscopic carpal tunnel release with a two to three minute tourniquet time, and without all the bells and whistles that go to setting up a tower and having different personnel and staff members in the room just to facilitate it, for them it was a no-brainer and, and they, they realized that just by cutting hours uh, in the OR, cutting staff and being able to use different rooms in the OR, that was a cost savings in itself. As hand surgeons, we'll, we're used to scheduling high volume of cases and just bouncing from room to room. So it decreases the setup. As soon as we call for the patient, I come in, everything's set up. There's really not much that goes in it. I love the ease of the system and the user-friendly nature of the system. And literally, it allows me to do more carpal tunnel releases or more procedures just by using the system. Because if you just shave, let's say, 10 minutes off every case, that adds to easily an hour at the end of your day, if not more. In the hospital, we noticed that we can use a small procedure room. We are using less bodies uh, since the patient's under straight local. We can use a smaller room and not occupy the larger operating rooms, and that saves manpower, time, and that will translate to cost savings. As many hand surgeons do, they have multiple cases scheduled uh, during the day, and we go, if we, we have our team set up, we go from room to room to room. So what we found out, what we're doing is, I'll schedule, let's say, a distal radius ORIF for a larger case, and then in between those larger cases, we'll throw one of these uh, endoscopic uh, carpal tunnel releases in a procedure room. We don't have to worry about the size of the room because now we don't have towers to worry about. It saves on OR time because we're not worried about the staff setting up the towers, managing all the wires that traverse all around us and uh, around the surgical field. For me, the allure of using the endoscopic carpal, the disposable kit, was trying to make the transition of bringing patients from the surgery center or the outpatient setting into our office or the procedure room in our office. Especially with the current situation with the COVID-19 virus, a lot of patients are hesitant to go to the hospital or any outpatient surgery center. So I've been getting a lot of requests to see if we can do the carpal tunnel releases in the office. Uh, another advantage for the patient is that often patients don't want any type of sedation, they don't want any anesthesia. Some patients don't have to want to worry about how do I get to the surgery center, who takes me home, does my spouse or significant other or family member have to take a day off of work to coordinate this. Patients that have high deductibles, this is a cost saving for them because they're not worried about paying a facility or paying an anesthesia fee. And to highlight the advantages for the surgeon, user friendly, minimal staff needed. I can do it on a non-surgical day. So what I like to do is dedicate an afternoon where I would be seeing patients in the office and have my PAC patients and I'll just 
do a couple of these endoscopic procedures and I don't have to worry about using up my OR days to do these cases. So I've seen an increased revenue because I'm able to do more procedures during the week because I'm not using my OR time to do these endoscopic carpal tunnel releases. 